Hey guys, it's Rob with Evolution Tabs. I'm about to install tabs on this 2011 Malibu 23 LSV. Malibu is one of the most common boats that we do. I'm going to actually do this in my driveway and you can too, following a few simple steps. Okay, so in the box, we have our two tabs. We have our Lenco actuators. Inside the Lenco box, we have some nuts and bolts. We have our wire harness. We have our install code. We have a couple of decals, a screw kit, hinges, the controller and inside the controller if you got the joystick what you'll find is the joystick mount the joystick and some decals if you order the rocker switch you'll get the switch and a little mounting bracket so using this kit there's no big holes you need to drill on the inside of your boat a couple of tools that you're going to need to complete the install you'll need to purchase these or supply these some clear silicone, Loctite, marine adhesive sealant available at Home Depot, a tape measure, painter's tape, an impact drill, those are great, a half inch wrench, 7 16 inch wrench, a couple of sockets. We will include the 7 32 inch drill bit and a 3 8 inch drill bit. And that's it. You'll be able to complete the install using those tools. Okay, so coming over to the back of the boat, first thing we wanna do, is actually put some painter's tape on the back of the boat so we can lay out where everything goes before we ever drill a hole. Okay, so I just put three lines of painter's tape on there. And the first thing I did is I took a tape measure. And one thing I did is I tried to lay the tape in a straight line from the point down here all the way up. Then I took a tape measure and measured one and three quarter inches up on both sides. Okay, so now that I've drawn my line, what I'm gonna do is take the plate and I'm gonna line it up. And I want to make sure that the mounting brackets on top of the tab do not interfere with the swim platform bracket. So, I'm gonna line it up basically so it sits about right there. It gives me an approximate idea of where I can mount my hinges. As you can see on the back side of the tab, we have all sorts of holes so we can move our tabs back and forth. For the outside edge, there's not really a magic number where it needs to be away from the edge. The important thing is that the tab does not sit to the outside of the boat. Okay, now inside of our green packet with the bolt kit, we're gonna find some grabber screws, some three quarter inch stainless steel bolts, some nylock stainless steel nuts, and some washers, and then some big bolts with spacers on it. What we wanna use first is the three quarter inch bolts with some washers, and nuts to attach the hinges to the plate. Now, because we looked at where the plates line up, we know approximately where to space these. I usually like to space them pretty evenly, maybe not all the way out to the outside. Either way, it's not really important. You just don't want to put them right next to each other. Okay, so we install our hinges. I haven't tightened these down yet. Just put them in hand tight. So we'll check our location, make sure they're good. Now, a couple things, I actually, put the hinges on the bottom of this plate. I used to always put them on the top, but honestly, I think it looks a little bit cleaner to have them underneath. You just wanna make sure that the pin is facing up. Now on this tab for this particular boat, I put the inside one, one, two, three holes in, and the top one, one, two holes in, and I'm just counting by the holes on the outside edge. And I've done the same on the other side. They're both set up symmetrically, and we're gonna hold the tab up to the boat and mark our locations for drilling now. Okay, now something very important, as you're laying this out, you wanna eyeball it. So I've decided I'm gonna use the outside mount here, and I wanna make sure that I have a clean location on the back of the hole to mount. Now, if I were to go right here, what's gonna happen is that I don't have a straight shot next to the platform. So I'm gonna end up moving the, bra the plate all the way to the outside. You can see it lines up really nicely there. And looking straight at the hole, I have a nice big spot for mounting. And again, you can see the line that we drew and that line is gonna line up with the screw holes when we mark it. So we'll make those marks and then drill our holes. Okay, so what we did here is we lined up the tab where we wanted it to go. And then I took a Sharpie and I would marked a line right across the screw line that we already drilled. True. What this does is allows you that some tolerance, so it doesn't matter if you can't quite hold it quite steady. You know exactly where to mark the line. You kind of hold the plate up like that and then just use a Sharpie, mark the holes through, and you can see the outline of the screws. So now we know exactly where to drill our holes. 
We're gonna drill them right on that line and we'll have a straight install. Okay, now many people have described this as the most scary part. The nice thing is we have our painter's tape. We know exactly where to drill our holes. We're going to take our 7 seconds inch drill bit and there's no need to go too fast. You simply put it up to your mark on the line and start drilling. Okay, now that we've drilled our holes on the line, what we're gonna do is take a 3 8 inch drill bit, we're gonna put it in reverse, and we're just going to just score it a little bit. Not too much. What this is gonna do is prevent spider cracks from coming out from those holes. Okay. One thing we're gonna to wanna to do now, this is kind of a pro tip, but we wanna draw a straight line, straight down from platform bracket, and then we're gonna to measure to one of these holes. I don't care which one it is. We'll take a Sharpie and simply measure straight down. And then I'm gonna measure this distance. I'm gonna make a mark, take a picture of it, and then I know exactly how far over this hole is going to be on the other side. That way, both sides are completely symmetrical. Okay, really quickly. So drew my straight line straight down, and then I measured over to this hole, five and a quarter inches. So now I know exactly where that hole goes. When I line up the tab on the other side, they'll be symmetrical, the same spacing as this side. Okay, really quickly, came over, I put tape here. I drew a line at one three quarter inches, made a straight line right there measured over five and a quarter inches, so I knew where to make my first mark for the first screw hole. Took a Sharpie, marked in the other two holes. Did the same thing for the other hinge over here. Now I take it down, I can see my marks right on the line and know where to drill, so this one's even easier. Okay, holes are all drilled. What I'm gonna do now is pull the tape. I'm going to apply some marine adhesive sealant and then insert the screws. Okay, so marine adhesive sealant, basically you wanna get a big glob of it all around the holes. You don't really need too much of the stuff. It does an amazing job of holding those hinges to the boat. You can see I just put on a little bit like that. And I'm gonna do that for all of the holes on both sides. And just a little bit extra. Okay, so I have all of the holes drilled. I'm going to fold up the tabs and insert one screw here. And what I'm gonna do is just hold it up. I'm gonna start it by hand and then I'm gonna use my driver to. Insert. Okay, so you can see I got one screw in and now I'm just going to use my driver. kind of snug them up. You really don't want to over tighten these things. The last thing you want to do is strip these out. Set those up. And this one. Tab is installed. Let's see. It fits up there perfectly. There's no contact anywhere. It's still sitting inside the edge here. And that tab is good to go. Okay, so now that we have our tab installed, we can see that it rotates just fine. What we're gonna do is use some more painter's tape. We're gonna mark out an area, and I'm gonna take a tape measure and measure up four and three quarter inches, draw a straight line somewhere in this area, somewhere you can see where it's gonna line up with the actuator when you uh, rotate the plate up. That dimension is basically the same for all boats. If you need to vary it just a little bit, that's okay, but you, you really want to stick within about that four and three quarter inches. And that's going to be for the top two holes on the actuator mount. Okay, next thing we're going to do, we're going to come over here, we're going to get out our actuators from the box. Inside, we have our bolt kit, mounting brackets, and two actuators. Okay, so I attached the terminals to the battery. 
I all I literally have to do is just touch them like that and they will extend or retract. So now that I have my extended actuator, I'm going to take the actuator foot. I'm going to put, mount this to the plate. We can see exactly where their actuator needs to be. Okay, so I mounted the actuator to just the plate so far. You take the long three and a half inch bolt, you take the spacer, and where I like to place this is on one, two, three, four holes back. I'm then going to lift up the actuator, and I'm gonna lift it to about the point where I can see the line that I made through my holes. I'm then going to mark my holes. You can see that this is lined up in the center of the, uh, the spacers. I'm gonna mark those holes, and then that tells me where I want to drill. Okay, one thing I like to do is take the other actuator foot that I have not installed yet, hold it up here so I can mark it, right? And basically then you're gonna drill all the holes with the 732nd inch bit. You can see all four holes. On the Malibu, you have plenty of space on the back side of this to go through. Then I'm gonna score each of these holes. Except for the center hole. The center hole I'm going to drill all the way through with the 3 8 inch drill bit. Okay, now that's drilled out, I can go ahead and pull off the tape. And with the tape off, we have our holes. Now for this, you don't need to use more adhesive of sealant, you can just use silicone. Okay, so what you wanna do is put on the actuator foot, and then the gland seal, and you wanna leave about an inch or two and push this all the way up tight. And then what you wanna do is feed the wire through the center hole. Go ahead and feed that in all the way until that's tight. Then we'll put a little bit of silicone on the screw holes and tighten down the foot. So we mounted the actuator foot. You can see we put a little bit of silicone on, we tighten that all down. Now we're going to put the actuator in, use your one and a half inch bolt and nut and reattach everything. With the actuator mounted up top, the nut and bolt all tightened up and the lower bolt, again, right on the fourth hole in the bottom row. You can see the angle of the tab is just about perfect and we're okay to mount the other side. Okay, with the other upper actuator mount installed, the actuator installed, the install of the tabs is complete. In the next video, we will be covering the install of the switches and your different switch options. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please click like and subscribe to our channel for more great content.